All right, so this is going to be a Costco sale item review of the Marie Callender's um, eight chicken pot pies. You can see tender white meat chicken. All right, so normally at Costco, at least from what the sale is, it's normally twelve fifty nine, and the sale was for four dollars and thirty cents off. So that makes it roughly eight eight dollars and thirty cents for the entire thing. So close to a dollar per chicken pot pie. Okay, so you can see, all right, chicken raised without antibiotics, inspected by the U.S. Department of Agriculture, keep frozen, microwavable, must be cooked thoroughly, uh, all right, there's the kind of nutrition stuff for one pot pie, 610 calories, eight 10 ounce pies, all right, this whole box is about five pounds go 17 grams of protein per serving no preservatives no artificial flavors no artificial colors there you go there's their close-up okay same thing on here here's the um, expiration April 10th 2023 so close to two years a little bit less maybe about a year and a half or so um, but yeah okay same information on this side um, same thing here, but upside down. All right, so you got the baking information here, or oven, sorry. So you can cook them in the oven or in a microwave. Okay, so they tell you to only cook one at a time. Tear off the top completely before microwaving. Open carton at push tab, peel back along with perforations. Completely tear off top carton. Cook in the carton with the top off for a softer crust and slit the crust before oh for softer crust you slit the crust open so that the steam can kind of come out all right microwave in open carton on high for five to six and a half minutes do not cook in microwave ovens below 100 and 1100 watts so if your microwave oven isn't, isn't powerful enough um it won't cook thoroughly um you can probably just cook it longer but they tell you not to so i don't know but here you go there's the oven Preparations recommended let it stand for five minutes in microwave to complete cooking remove carefully all right and then make sure it's cooked thoroughly you can use a thermometer and there you go crust will be golden brown and steam will be rising from the filling you go food and safety quality they want you to keep it frozen don't thaw it out and appliances vary so adjust cooking times as needed go make sure it's cooked thoroughly I guess they use raw chicken Okay, here you go, conventional oven. So if you want flakier crust, you can put it in the oven. 400 degrees Fahrenheit, remove the pot pie from the carton, but you wanna leave it in the paper tray. So the paper tray is like kind of the pie tin, um, but it's made of paper. So there you go, all right. Leave and wrap the crust edge in aluminum foil. So you wrap the crust so that the outer edge doesn't burn. But if you don't care, I guess technically you don't need to cover it. But okay, 400 degree or 400 degrees. Wow, 50 minutes. That's a long time. So yeah, okay. So I'm probably gonna cook multiple of them at a time. I'm gonna do it in the oven. So yeah, since my parents uh, had to go to the dentist, and then I, um, since they're visiting, I will have the pot pies ready for them when they get back. Okay. There you go, check the pot pie is thoroughly cooked. Internal temperature, 165, same thing. Um, I'm not gonna use a conventional oven, I'm gonna use a convection oven, which is um, the kind that just blows hot air around, um, not the regular um, one with the heating element or the gas. But anyways, let's flip this over. Got the barcode there. Okay, golden flaky crust, made from scratch. Okay. I mean, isn't everything made from scratch? Like, no matter what you're making, you can't make a pie from pre-made ingredients because then the pre-made ingredients were also from scratch. So, technically, everything is made from scratch. That doesn't really mean anything. But there you go. Warm, hearty, and delicious. Comfort foods you know and love. Ready when you eat them. Sorry, re ready when you need them. Okay, there's the ingredients. It has milk, wheat, uh, milk, soy, and wheat. So if you're allergic to any of that, keep that in mind. You can see all the other ingredients. You can go ahead and read that. So the main, I'm surprised the highest part of the ingredients is the chicken 
Oh, okay, chicken broth and chicken flavor. So, um, there you go. Cooked chicken. So, the main ingredients are high at the top of the list. There you go. Which means they put more of that as the ingredients. You can see the vegetables and stuff in there. Okay. Canagra brands. All right, smart label again. So all these brands are putting these smart labels and then the box is paper recyclable. And here you can see the nutrition facts. All right, eight servings per container, one pie, 610 calories. All right, there's the amount of fat. So it's pretty high in fat content, especially saturated fat. Okay, it's probably because the crust has a lot of like butter or lard or something. Um, cholesterol, sodium. Carbohydrates, pretty high in carbs as well and sodium. All right, we've got some fiber, protein. You got um, a little bit of calcium and quite a bit of iron and potassium. All right, so there we go. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. So basically just open it from the side here. Just peel this up. Okay, again, we are going to be cooking this in the oven, not the microwave. Um, but yeah, I've done them. Um, I've cooked these before in the microwave. They come out pretty well. So pretty good. So Yep. All right, here you go Basically has about the same information same expiration date. I'm sure Ingredients same thing. All right. They actually tell you how to cook it on the container itself So I like when they do packaging like this because if you throw away the main packaging um, you have the instructions and everything there you won't you won't have to like go looking for it online somewhere but as you can see they can fit all the same information on this tiny box which is really nice okay so let me show you what it looks like if you're going to cook this in a microwave so they have this where they say to tear off the top completely so if you're going to microwave it basically what you do is you punch this through okay kind of want to be a little bit careful so you don't um break the crust in there of the thing but uh usually it will always tear bad like this so i don't know i kind of just go closer to it and then peel it like that because if you do it um just by pulling it up as you can see this paper just stays there and it doesn't actually tear along the thing properly um i mean it doesn't have to be perfect so you don't need to worry about it too much you can just quickly peel it off um but yeah all right so Normally, if you microwave it, you would have it in this tray and you would microwave it there. It's nice because a lot of times it will boil over and leak and then this will catch the, the excess uh, leaking so it doesn't get all over your microwave. But you can put it on top of a plate to do that as well. All right, so this is the, if you're going to bake it, you leave it in here. Um, and this bowl has that silvery uh, gray colored lining that... Um, things like hot pockets have those sleeves so it's basically has that as well to kind of crisp it up but anyways we're going to be baking a bunch of these in the oven so i'm going to go set that up and yeah i'll see you guys then all right see you in a bit all right so i got three pies on this tray to go into the convection oven i'm probably going to microwave two other ones separately and then compare them side by side just to see if it's worth it because this will take 50 minutes with five minutes cool down and microwave I think takes like five to six minutes um, I think also five minutes cool down let me go check real quick yeah so also five to six and a half minutes and then a five minute cool down in the microwave or to let it complete cooking okay so anyways we have for the oven method we have to wrap the edges with foil so I'm gonna get some foil I'm gonna think this design's probably not good but let's go ahead and see because to get that amount of foil, I don't think one is going to be good enough. Yeah, so the pie is like to the shape where you're, you're going to need like um, two pieces of foil here. So that's kind of annoying. Otherwise, you'd have to get a really long one. But okay, so I'm going to have to get like um, six pieces of foil to cover the entire thing. Okay. We're just going to get foil and wrap it around like that. Okay. So I'm going to do the other um, two 
while the thing's preheating. This one was already cracked like that, and this one was messed up like that with a P already out. Um, so I didn't do that. All right, the oven just finished preheating to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So let me get these foiled up, and I'll see you guys in a bit. <clears throat> all right, so we got the pie crust edges all foiled up. So now we're going to go ahead and put them into the oven. So let me adjust the camera, and I'll be back. All right, so let's get these pies into the oven. So it's already pre preheated to 400 degrees. Okay, you can hear it's all sizzling. Okay, let's go ahead and go ahead and go ahead and set the temperature again, 400 degrees, and we're gonna go for 50 minutes. All right, so we're gonna let that cook for 50 minutes, and then we'll be back. All right, and we'll see you guys soon. All right. Okay, so these are almost ready. Um, we're gonna get ready for the microwave ones as well. So let's go ahead and open these up. Again, you just push this in. Okay, we're gonna tear off these, the tops. Again, it doesn't need to be perfect. Um, just open it up so that it can let some air out. Okay, just like that. We're gonna tear the top off. Okay, so we have the tray like this, and we're gonna put that in the microwave. So I'm gonna do two of these in the microwave because my parents, my family's visiting right now. So we're gonna do that, all right. Again, let's tear off this one. Again, it doesn't need to be perfect. You can even just leave it like that if you want. Um, okay. I'm going to tear it anyways, just because I like to make it nicer. Oop. Okay, there we go. So we got that ready. So these need to cook anywhere from five to six and a half minutes, depending on your microwave. We have a 1200 watt um, one. I think they said at least a thousand hundred watts. Um, so I'm going to cook it about five minutes, maybe five and a half minutes, and that should be good enough. So this is about done. All right, let's go ahead and open up the convection oven and take a look inside. All right. Okay, so here we got the three pies that we cooked in the oven. We're gonna have to let them sit for five minutes. Hopefully you can see them, all right? They look like that. Okay, so we're gonna give these five minutes to cool. And while we're doing that, we're gonna cook the ones in the microwave for about five minutes. Okay, so perfect. Set those aside. Okay, and let's get ready with the microwave. All right, so we got the microwave here. Let's open it. I know it's disgusting. People keep exploding stuff. My family keeps exploding stuff and they don't clean it up. So whatever, we're gonna leave it in there. All right, we'll give it five minutes and we'll let it cook. All right, we'll see you guys in five minutes. All right, so I figured while the, the one is cooking in the microwave, let's go ahead and unwrap the, unwrap the crust. And you can see the crust also turned out golden brown, which is good, All right? We're going to unwrap both of them. All right, looks good. If you want, you can save the foil and reuse it if you're going to cook multiple of these pies. Or you can just toss it, of course. But um, yeah, so there you go. This pie, for some reason, is a lot lighter than the other two. I don't remember if this one was in front or in the back. It could be this was closer to the door. But anyways, we're going to wait for the other pie to finish in about two minutes, and we'll see you guys soon. Bye. All right, so the pie's almost done. A few more seconds. You can hear it popping and sizzling in there. Let's go ahead and open it up. Here you can see. All right, so... Here you can see the crust on the pie. I'm gonna compare the two together. So let me get the tray back over here and I'll show you them side by side. All right, see you guys in a bit. All right, so here are the ones that were baked. You can see um, the tray helps because as you can see, it's splattered out. Okay, we're gonna pull this out. I wanna have to be careful because this one's just fresh from the microwave. Okay, so you can see it actually spilled here. So if you didn't use the tray, it would spill all over your microwave, so it's actually nice that they put that in there. So here you can see the difference. All right, so you can definitely tell one is microwaved and one is baked 
microwaved one is all bubbly on top and the baked one looks like a regular pie on top but anyways um i'm gonna microwave start the other one real quick and then we'll go over and taste it because i have to let it cool for five minutes right so you guys so here's the second pot pie as you can see this one kind of exploded a lot more or it leaked out a lot more into the box um, i'm gonna put them all in a tray so you can see all five of them side by side and then we're gonna do a taste test this one's gonna have to sit for five minutes the other one's already cooled enough for five minutes so we're going to give those a taste, all right? We'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so here are the pies. You can see these two were microwaved, these three were baked. So let's go ahead and do a taste test. The main difference is probably going to be the crust, so I'm going to just taste the crust mostly first. Okay, let's see the crust here. Mm. Okay. Flaky. And let's try the baked one. Mmm. Okay, so the crust here is a lot more crispy, crispy baked through, and this one has a slight crisp but also like bread, so depending what you like, if you like more crispy crust, this is more uh, on the lines of close to like a cracker texture, and then this one is kind of has a soft outer, um more like a biscuit so depending what you like you can adjust for that all right let's see how the inside is i'm pretty sure it's going to be almost the same all right so we're going to let this cool mm -hmm. all right and let's try this one i didn't really get much of the ingredients from that one i just got like a pea in the sauce so i'm going to do the same with this one Um, so yeah, the, um, filling is basically the same thing, so it doesn't matter if you bake it or if you microwave it, the filling basically tastes the same exact thing. So the main difference is the crust. In this one, you get a nice crispier cracker type crust. This one, again, you get more like a softer biscuit type crust. So let's show you what the inside looks like. I'm going to open this up. This one will be mine, I guess. So here you can see you got chicken in here, you got peas and carrots, okay? There's like big chunks, okay? Let me get a closer zoom in on just one pie here. Okay, guys. All right, and there you go. You can see the steam coming out of it. All right, so it has some nice big chunks of chicken and nice big chunks of carrot. Um, the mixture varies, of course, because they can't make it all exactly the same. But here you can see there's a bit more carrot over here and a bit more chicken. So, yeah, these are very good for about a dollar each on sale. It's a great deal. So if you've never tried chicken pot pies before, give them a try. Um, the inside, the uh, creamy filling part, it's somewhat similar to like a clam chowder base, but instead of clams and flavor you get chicken and these veggies so it's delicious um hopefully you guys will give it a try if you haven't tried them before thanks for watching and i'll see you all in the next one bye oh i forgot to show so this is what the container looks like when you're all done eating it um <clears throat> i don't feel it's worth the added time to bake it because 50 minutes versus like five or six minutes that's so much longer if you really like the crispy crust you can probably just uh, microwave it for about four or four and a half minutes. And then if you have an air fryer, you can probably air fry it for like a minute or something on the highest setting. But um, yeah, that's my review. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.